Okay, the manager said to take your questions on tomorrow evening. Um, David Woodward's came out earlier this week, uh, was in Houston. Has he, uh, have you made any progress on any transfers ahead of the close of the window? I, I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, you know, Ed is in control. Uh, he did Lindelof and... Uh, and Lukaku, he knows that I would like two more players, but he also knows that um, I have balance, I understand the situation, I understand the market, and if my club is not able to do two players and do just one, I will accept that as a consequence of of the market now. Our relation is good. And I just wait for good news. And he knows that for me, good news are to have the players, or in this case, maybe just the player as soon as possible, because to work together with the team is really, really important. But I'm calm. Um, I like my players, I like my squad, I trust them, so I'm calm, and that's important. Jose, you've spoken about Chicharito a few times in the past. He's with West Ham now, you'll play him in the first season. I was just wondering if you ever attempted to try and bring him back to Manchester United uh, during your tenor, tenure. No, because, uh, you know, Left the club a few years ago. I'm not sure that it was his, de his decision or the manager's decision. But, um, you know, he's a good player. He's a player that would be always score goals. So he's a player that I would always welcome in my squad because he's a player that doesn't need many minutes on the pitch to score a goal. But um, we moved in another direction, and uh, a younger player in uh, in Lukaku, and uh, we have Rashford that can be also a, a striker. He's originally a striker, so we didn't feel that that need. But no doubts that for West Ham to get a, a player with this experience and this quality is very very good. So yesterday um, we found out that Eric Bailly will be suspended for the Super Cup and the first Champions League group game. It seemed a fairly excessive punishment. What's your view of that? You know, my view is that uh, normally with UEFA what you get is what you get. And uh, you accept with a happy face or with a bad face, but you have always to accept was um, was a red card in the semi-final. Uh, I think the punishment of not to play the final, I think is enough. It's a big punishment. Not to play the final is a big punishment. And I say that normally you deserve clean sheet and start the next season with a clean sheet and ready to play the ready to play the Super Cup. But now he's an important player for us that he's not able to play the Super Cup and also the first match of the Champions League group phase. But not to play the Europa League final and the European Super Cup I think is very, very harsh punishment. Okay, guys, last question. Eh, Jose, eh, ¿te puedo preguntar en castellano? Sí. In Spanish, okay. Um, no, no, English, may not. I'm not. Okay. I, are you in English? Okay. Are you in English? 
Eh, ¿Estás contento con el equipo que tienes, con la plantilla que tienes? ¿Te entra, te encajaría un hombre como Bale en tu equipo? <risa> I'm happy with my with my squad, but I, I would like to have two more players. I, I didn't I never had that. Uh, one player would be a, a midfield player that give me more options, more balance to the team, to our needs. Another one, an attacking player, especially that can play through the wings to give me also more attacking options. But um, I, I never speak about players that belong to our to other teams. Uh, I don't like if any manager comes now and say that you like one of my players. That's not ethic. That's not correct. So I just go back to the first question and the first answer. I would like two more players, but probably I get only one. I want to know also uh, your opinion about the next game and the new Barcelona that it's coming with Valverde. It's the best way to finish to finish the preseason. Um, we start playing against MLS teams, which was very good experience for us. They are in the middle of of their competition to play against fit team was good for us, and then we got a good English team, and then Real Madrid, Barcelona. Real Madrid in the first half they played almost with their best team. Uh, only Ramos and Ronaldo didn't play, so we had a good feeling of play against the best teams, the best players. Now Barcelona, it looks for me that everybody is is a new preseason, new manager with every player. No American Cup, no Euro, no World Cup, so every player is. Um, so I think it's the best way to finish the preseason is to play against the best players, the best teams. And it's a, an experience that we want to to live. Uh, I'm going to play again every player. I'm not going to be obsessed with the result. More important is to train well and to give minutes to everybody. But of course, uh, we want we want to play. It's, it's a great experience for my players and it's good for us. I know that we cannot play Barcelona in the Champions League because we are both in the same level in the draw. So we cannot we cannot be together in the group phase. So even better, even better to play against them now and and to have these feelings to play against the best teams and the best players. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye.